What's going on, guys? Lone Driver Mike again, bringing you guys another video. What's up, gang? How's it going? What's up, fam? Anyways, <coughs> excuse me. I just had some Chipotle. It was not bad, not bad. Mmm. Pretty good steak burrito. Beans, rice, cheese, salsa. It was good. Anyways, guys, the reason why I'm making this video is because I want to give you guys a little bit of hope. Tell you, give you guys some advice. And uh, just open your mind a little bit with this gig economy stuff. So, I've been doing this many years. Food delivery, ride share. I also do WAG. It's where I walk dogs. <clears throat> so... You know what? If one app doesn't work, simply turn on another one. There's not, there's not, there's nothing against that, right? Some of you guys just run like Uber, and that's it. And you're like, well, it was slow today, man. Fuck. And it's like, why are you just running one app? It makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Like I run like, I got DoorDash, Grubhub, Uber Eats, Caviar, and Wag. I have five apps at my disposal that I can run. <clears throat> so there's absolutely no excuse for that, right? I see people complain. They do Instacart and uh, just different things, just different apps. But they, they probably only, some people only run like one app. And it's like, and then you guys complain, right? And I made this channel to, to let you guys know that there's hope. There's different apps out there. You can run multiple apps. I got my delivery bags, I got caviar, I got Grubhub bag, I got my DoorDash bag inside there. Um, <clears throat> so there's no excuse, and let's say hypothetically, right, you love Grubhub, right? But it's slow, well what are you going to do about it? Like, right now it's just a slow day for all apps. So you just have to cut your loss and take a day off, or relax, or or you know, if I had, if I had a new enough car, if I had my own car, this is a rental. But anyways, if I had my own car, I could be doing Uber and Lyft right now. So that's something that I'm going to get into next year. I'm saving up money right now. But I'm just saying that you should not rely on just one type of app. Like, oh, food delivery. You know, say food delivery slow, boom, you got rideshare, you got Uber, you got Lyft. You know, I do WAG. That's dog walking. You know, I, I do a few of those here and there when it's slow. And so... Don't limit yourself, and they say, oh, well, your market, you know, this and that. Man, food delivery is always busy. Uber and Lyft is always busy. And then you got apps like Instacart and Shift. Those are actually grocery shopping. They're not food delivery. It's grocery shopping. It's a different category. <clears throat> so you got so many different categories. Then you got apps like TaskRabbit different apps where you can actually go and clean a house and get paid for it and fold some do someone's laundry and get paid like 50 bucks for it or something and so there's a whole bunch of different apps out there so don't limit yourself and if you say well mike my market's just not busy well i mean try different strategies like what i've been doing on the weekends now with doordash and with grubhub i will wait only on fridays and saturdays tonight i try to do it Sundays are hit or miss. Sunday is like Sundays are is like a bipolar woman. One minute she's good to you, the next minute she's not good to you, right? So don't depend on Sundays to make your money. Like if you're trying to sc scramble for your last hundred or two for the day for the whole week, and you're trying to do it on Sunday, it's not going to work. Monday to Friday, that's when you're going to make most of your money because you got. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Everyone's going to work, right? They need rides to go to work. They need ride. They need rides to come home. People are going to school. You got college people going to colleges. Um, different things like that. People are going to dentist appointments, doctors appointments. People are going to court. So Monday through Friday, you're gonna have a lot of rides, and you're you're also gonna have decent amount of deliveries because during the week people don't want to people don't want to cook. People are lazy. People get home, they don't want to cook, or they're at their job, <clears throat> they're at their office job, and they can't leave their office, right? They're going to order some Chipotle off DoorDash, or they're going to order um, whatever, some sushi off of Grubhub, or whatever, pizza off of Postmates. They're going to order McDonald's off Uber Eats, you know, because they can't leave their office, so 
Monday through Friday, <clears throat> you can make <clears throat> a lot of money, actually, just for the lunchtime. I'm, I'm telling you right now, big businesses, big companies will order catering orders. Like this last this last week, I got a, what was it, Friday? Yeah, I got a $29 payout. That was during uh, lunchtime. It was to an office, a medical office. And it was like like 11, 11 items, 12 items, $150 worth of food. Tip was like $27. This was DoorDash. And delivery pay was $2. Um, when was it? Friday night, I got a... <clears throat> Friday night, I got a $32 payout. That was with Grubhub. So it was just to a family, medium-sized family. I don't know how many kids they had, but, you know, might have had some friends over. I don't know. But it was like 10, 11 items, sushi rolls and soups and rice and chicken teriyaki. So different things. But it was a big order. They tipped good. It was like $27 tip plus the rest was delivery pay. So that was like $30, $32 payout. And that was during dinner time. So if you if you are going to do like deliveries, try to work if possible Monday to Friday for sure. You can run ride share, you can run Uber, you can run Lyft in the mornings, early mornings. I'm talking 5 to 10 in the morning. You can make a lot of money. You can make 100 to 200 dollars each morning. Then once it gets about 11 o'clock, you can turn on your delivery apps, get some delivery, get some lunch orders, right? Then from like Two to five, it kind of slows down. Three to five, it slows down. And you could take a break. You do some more Uber and Lyft. And then, boom, from five to ten, five to eleven, you got the dinner rush. Dinner rush is usually better than lunch. Sometimes I've had better lunch shifts. I've had better better lunch. Uh, the lunch rush was better than the dinner rush. So, you know what I'm saying? So, don't just limit yourself with Uber. You know, do Lyft. Do both. You know, what if Lyft's slow? Do Uber. Uber's slow? Oh, turn on Uber Eats. Turn on Grubhub. Turn on Caviar. Turn on uh, DoorDash. You know, don't limit yourself. Check the WAG app. Is there any walks available to walk a dog for 30 minutes or an hour? You know, they pay pretty good. Um, so I'm just saying, don't just limit yourself to one app or one... Let's say you do Uber and Lyft. That's just ride share. Well, open yourself up to some food delivery. Open yourself up to some um, Instacart, uh, grocery shopping. So, I mean, I'm just saying <clears throat> there are different types of apps out there that you can run and you can make money from. You don't have to do the same thing over and over. You can take some rides. You can do some deliveries. You can shop for people's groceries. Oh, and then, all, then you know, say WAG gets busy, you know, dog walking, walk someone's dog. You can do it all for the whole day. And make plenty of money. <clears throat> and and so there's just no excuses. So what I've been doing on the weekends, it's been working out for me as Fridays and Saturday nights. I won't accept a, a delivery unless it's $15 or higher. And that's been working out great. $15 or higher. $15 payout, that is. So that's been working out for me. So guys, just, just remember, you know, there is good money to be made out here. $200 a day. Sometimes you can make more than that. But even on a slow day, you should still be able to clear about $100 every day. I mean, this stuff, gig gig work, this ain't going away. They talk about this new AB5 bill. I don't think nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to happen. These companies are going to fight it. It's unconstitutional. They're trying to make independent contractors employees, which is... And some of us don't want to be employees, right? So they might even just give us the option. Do you want to be an employee or do you want to be... And it's, they're going to fight this in court. So the whole AB5 thing, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it until it happens. So that's why I'm saving up money just in case. But like Postmates said they're going to fight it. Uber said they're going to fight it. Lyft said they're going to fight it. Instacart said... I think DoorDash also said they're going to fight it. So all these companies already said, don't worry, nothing's going to change. I mean, but we don't know, we, we really don't know what's going to happen. But don't give up hope. There's plenty of money to be made out there, guys. I'm telling you right now. So, you know, and then say, like, for example, you know, you want to work during the day or at night. Um, you can work after midnight. Like, with after midnight, you can actually run DoorDash. You can run Uber, you can run, run Lyft, you can run Uber Eats, and you can run Postmates. 
So you can make money 24-7 and you can do this full time. I've been doing this full time for four years now. I've never struggled. I never had, I've had some slow days or slow weeks, but for the whole month, I always make decent money, enough to pay all my bills plus extra money. So this is where it's at. And if you don't know, if you want to know more about me or what I do, and you want more tips and advice, then subscribe to my channel. Check out my other videos. I also have a Facebook group. It's called The Gig Economy. So you can message me in there. You can ask me questions. But there's also members in the group that you can post a question. That you'll probably get an answer within the hour or two. So I'm here for you guys. I've always been here for you guys. Um, I'm coming on three years on YouTube. I'm not as popular as some of the other guys. But you know what? I speak from the heart. I speak the truth. So you know what? Um, I appreciate any any type of support you guys can give me. Um, I also have a Patreon. If you want to donate to me, that would be awesome too. But if not, it's okay. But anyways, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, comment below. And also join my Facebook group. It's called The Gig Economy. And uh, yeah, I'm here for you guys, right? I'm always, I've always been here for you guys. I have good videos out there. Some of my older videos are still really good, and still, you know, still, still, it's still good. I mean, a lot of, I have a lot of good videos. Is what I'm saying. So I give a lot, give a lot of good advice, and I've been here for you guys for the past three years. So, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, join my Facebook group, and until next time, guys. That's it. That's all I've got to say. All right, peace out. See you.